Welcome to this BTEC bite size video. The purpose of this video is to look at the moderation process for component one and two internal assessments for the BTEC Tech Award level one and two health and social care. Let's start by looking at what moderation is. Moderation is a quality assurance process to check the accuracy and consistency of centres assessment through the sampling of learner work. Once the Pearson set assignment, known as the PSA, has been completed by your learners, it will be internally marked by your centre and supported by your centre's standardisation activities, which ensures that the work of all learners is to mark, mark to the same standard. All learner marks will then be submitted to Edexcel Online by the mark submission deadline and a random sample will be selected by the Pearson system for moderation. There are two assessment series per year for both component one and two, with new Pearson set assignments released with each series, and each series goes through its own moderation process. Both internal components will be sampled for moderation where entries have been made. Refer to the key date schedule on the BTEC Health and Social Care webpage so you're familiar with the PSA release date, when to upload your sample for the series you've registered your learners for, and when moderation will take place. Please note moderators are trained and standardised to sample learner work to the national standard. Samples for moderation will be requested on Edexcel Online by the Pearson system, and this will be indicated on Edexcel Online with a tick mark next to the learner name, and will occur in advance of the mark submission deadline. The number of learners requested for the sample will depend on the cohort size of your learners that you have registered for the Pearson Set Assignment series, as shown in the table. Most centres are likely to have between 10 and 100 learners, therefore a sample size of 10 will be required. However, samples must include the lowest and highest scoring candidates for the Pearson Set Assignment if those learners are not already identified in the sample. So, for example, if you had a sample of 10 selected and the highest and lowest marked candidates that you assessed didn't actually appear in that list, you, could, you should also upload them. So a, a total of 12 learners will actually be uploaded. If a learner chosen for the sample actually didn't sit the PSA, you must replace them with a learner who's of a similar ability. For example, you might have given them a similar target grade. The sample should be uploaded onto Edexcel Online through the Pearson Digital Learner Work Transfer LWT portal. For those learners chosen for the sample, you should upload their work for the PSA and a signed authentication assessment record sheet for each learner. It's important to note that following the submission of marks for moderation, there's no further opportunity for learners to improve their evidence based on the same completed PSA assignment. Moderation is completed remotely, so the moderator will email the programme lead to advise if there's anything missing from your centre's sample. Moderation will find the sample to be either accurate and in line with the national standard or inaccurate. Centres will receive a draft moderator report sent to the programme lead. If they're found to be inaccurate, the report will identify if assessment was too lenient or severe and how to bring marks in line with the national standard. Centres will have the opportunity to adjust their marks should they wish. It is optional. Refer to the key date schedule on the BTEC Health and Social Care webpage, which will show the deadline for adjusting marks. This is approximately a two week window. Mark adjustment does not require learners to add any more work. It's important to note that it's an opportunity for centres to review their assessment. Any amendments that the centres choose to make should be applied to all marks affected by the feedback, not just those of learners in the representative sample. If revised centre marks are reasonably accurate following this process, centre marks will be upheld. If centre marks are still not within a reasonable degree of deviation from national standards, then an adjustment will be applied. The final results are released to your centre on results day, along with the final moderator report. There's numerous sources of information explaining more about the moderation process and the documents that support it. There's written guidance and also video support. The BTEC Health and Social Care 
Administrative Support Guide is the best place to start. This gives written advice on the moderation process and also covers areas such as preparing and submitting recorded evidence for learners that choose not to write a written assignment. The Centre Guide for BTEC Moderation is also a great web page with a step-by-step -step guide to the moderation process. Guidance is also available for using the Learner Work Transfer Portal. Refer to the link references on the PowerPoint here. Please also refer to the other BTEC bite-sized videos for health and social care on areas such as the Learner Assessment Tracker Tool, which can help support your assessment and help to prepare your sample. You can also contact the Health and Social Care Subject Advisor, Estra Chahern, if you have any further questions. Thank you for watching this BTEC bite-sized video.